job. You're happy. I'm not confident they're not getting bullied. Did I tell you I woke up this morning to a not very nice comment? You doing all right? Good morning. Just a sweet little set of two today. I still say we got a couple more before we're through this first cycle. They're just holding on. They don't want to be a part of anybody's schedule. They want to be on their own, which is fine. You know, I got a random comment on YouTube first thing this morning, like I just should not check my phone. And I thought they were starting out, I thought they were gonna be nice. So then I got drawn into this big comment and I was like, and it was a dagger to my heart. It was so upsetting. And I, when I was editing, I'm like, oh, you should put captions here because people aren't gonna know, aren't gonna sort of understand what happened because I was sitting in the way of the camera. Um, I pulled out, it was first thing in the morning too, so I was tired. And when I'm editing these videos, it's like, it's like right after I'm in at this part of the day. So it's like, I don't know, it depends what time I get in the house, but I'm really, really tired when I edit. So sometimes the editing doesn't make sense. One of the ones first thing in the morning, I had to help a mom. She's a really loud mom. And I think the first one came out backwards and it was live. So I'm like, cool, put it beside her like I was like hey mom here's your baby and I don't know if I cut some of that out that's the problem I edit a bunch out <laughs> yeah hey buddy nice and shy come on come on I know you were stuck <laughs> come on So the baby was alive, so I moved on to the second baby. And then when I pulled out the second baby, I gasped because I'm like, oh my God, that, that lamb is sort of, I call it the floppy chicken. It's sort of like fighting to get a breath. And I'm like, what's going on? So then I grabbed it and I started resuscitating it and doing all the things. When they fight like that, when they like are jumping up and they either catch their breath or they never get a breath, they never take a breath. So they were like, couldn't you see that lamb was alive? I'm like, yeah, because it was alive and then it was dying. And then that's when I started to try to rescue it. I was just too late and that happens. And I could either be filming it or not filming it and stuff like that does happen. I, sh I choose to share it. So you guys can see that even with me sitting right beside a lamb, they can, they can go backwards quickly. So was that my fault? Yeah, probably. I think it had a very traumatic birth and I think it was backwards and most of the time you get them out without, it, without any really repercussions, but those lambs weren't a great set of three. Um, 
I think out of those three, actually there was four, because one was stillborn, one was backwards, one was itty itty bitty, and she died like two days later. So there might have just been something wrong with those ones. But anyway, uh, if the comment was meant to be nice, which it might have been, um, I took it as a real dagger to my heart. So one thing I don't like about this stuff is like, uh, context is so very important and I know that I've learned that I learned that from the get-go but uh, you know after almost 800 videos I just assume people would see that I care and I try and some people just never do all right let's restart this day with this beautiful set of twins that I did not have to do a thing about you were such a good mom I like full ground, mommy. There you go, mom. You just want to make sure you got some milk and you're all milked out. Yep, you're good. I am happy to say that my tagging is completely caught up, up till this morning. So I even have this morning's tagged. So if no one else lambs today, our totals as of today is 166 lambs out of 68 ewes. 166 out of 68. 2.44 lambs per ewe. Um, but other than that, I think today I am going to spend most of the day in the house and getting that part of my life sort of organized and caught up. I'm feeling really overwhelmed in the house right now. <laughs> Jess has been great. Jess has kept my kitchen clean. That always gives me some anxiety when the kitchen is gross, so she's been doing amazing in there. Mark's been busy, just sort of still coping with the aftermath of uh, harvest. And he's also been hunting a few days this week, so he's sort of been gone and the house, you can just tell, it's just sort of brutal. So today's just going to be a, a day of catching up and catching my breath. There's a few in here looking like they could pop at any moment as well, so um, I do want to be in the house and close enough that I can just come out. But we will be back to feed the baby and to check on nanny lambs, so we're not completely out of the barn today. Just nicely got my laundry started, check my cameras, and uh, pretty sure... We got a lamb. I couldn't really see it because it's sort of in the transition between the two cameras, but I'm 
pretty sure I saw them. <laughs> I thought I saw you. Dirty. You got a dirty nose. Can I see if you got another one? Please. Two. Good job, Mom. Good. We're taking a cabin break. I haven't been back here in a hot minute. Mark built a uh, whole bench unit. What do you call that? A uh, coat, a coat like rack, a, like a, a coat, a coat rack. Yeah. So you, fancy. you built the shelf, the coat rack, and the bench all out of our own wood. That's actually crazy. So now he's loving the woodworking thing. Anyway, Jess and I about a month ago bought a puzzle, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna start it. And we're going to keep it back here so it forces us to come back here and just... So we can finish it. Yeah. It's a nice thing to do when we're back here, though. Yeah. It gives us something to do besides I read. I waited for you to open them. Is, this a, is there a trick to this? Yeah. Make sure it doesn't fly everywhere. This is nice. It's like matte. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. Okay, so I start off by separating all the edge pieces, I would say. But should we get rid of this stuff? Like, are we going to need this whole yeah, thing? Yeah, we are. All in a day's work, Jess. Yep. Yep. We did pretty good. The chair looks awesome. Thank you. My glass needs some more. The window a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. Yeah, this looks really good on the camera. Thanks. All right, we're back in the house, and it's time for... Advent. What day are we on? 10. Are we on 10? Or 11. 10, I think. 10. We're on day 10. You want to do it? No. <laughs> I have no. Mark's cooking soup for supper. You have no what? Artistic ability. You don't need artistic ability. If I'm doing it, you so could do it. Time That's true. You do have to have. Thick, thick skin. I don't have thick skin. I don't either. Not emotionally. Very thin skin emotionally. So be nice in the comments. Did I tell you I woke up this morning to a not very nice comment? I thought it was nice, and I was, I was kind of excited to read it, and then I'm like, oh, shot to the heart. That's aggressive. It was, yeah, it was just, I had poor context, and, but it sets the tone for the day, right? Come on, 10. What happened to the back? Why? It, that's why I have it, because it got wrecked in delivery. Oh. And blue and black. 
Yeah, yeah. Because the last time oh, I goodness. I thought I knew what it was, and I went ahead, and I was wrong. I was very wrong. wrong. There you are. Lucy's got to go poo. Lucy's got to poo. How do you know that? Are you guys in sync? <laughs> oh, she's like an egg to the ground. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's squeezing. She she's she squeezing her cheeks. Right there. On the patio. <laughs> this is what we're making. Patio dingle. <gasps> I didn't do the wordle today. Did you guys do the wordle? Yeah, today? I got it in two. Yes. That was yesterday. No, no she today got it two again. I'm just like. <laughs> What'd you get in, Dad? Four, I think. It is the night check, so not a whole lot going on, I don't think. There was nothing on the cameras, but we will have a look. I'm just gonna grab a bottle and get some milk from the nanny and feed our one and only triplet that is marked. We marked her or him this morning. Carissa did this morning. But I have to top them off at night just to make sure they're getting enough and to make sure that they continue to associate us to food. Makes training a lot easier. Why don't you come with the others? Oh, and also, I brought goodies for uh, Carissa from Mark. Gingerbread and lemon bars. They're really good. morning there's like snow sliding off the roof right now that's that scary scary zipper noise that you're hearing uh, yeah we got snow last night which we haven't seen in a week and a half jeez louise already no lambs I don't think there was lambs yesterday morning either I still don't believe we're in the reprieve but maybe we are the only way to test that theory is to not set my alarm and then they'd let me know all right should check my bottle babies and then um, I guess go to the house and edit <laughs> every other day videos although better than every day for uh, time wise it's still a lot of work <laughs> but thank you guys for watching I love making the Christmas sort of series for you guys I love Christmas music I love everything about Christmas you we all know this I think we've established that so vlogmas is uh, by far one of my favorite things to do for you for the community and for me to be honest it's a lot of work but it's worth it Good morning, babies! Ah! Oh, you look happy. Ah! You happy? Ah! Ah! My new 
edition. Oh, I think you're fine. You know what? Right there. Well, we uh, made our bottle of lamb pen a little bigger. Uh, we must be in a reprieve because there's no one lambing. So, um, I mean, if we get a bunch more bottle babies in the next couple days, then I'll have to revisit. But for the most part, uh, what I can do, if we do have some more bottle babies this week, I can put another little uh, pen up or I can build one on the other side. I've got room, I've got, I've got options right now. But I did want to sort of open this up just so I can really observe these lambs. Give them a little more air. They like to bunch and sit on each other in the corner. So I just like to give them a room. At least during the day they'll spread out and get some exercise and run around. Uh, there's a couple I'm... I'm just... There's a couple hunting ones. Now they do that when they gorge on milk. So you got to really watch them throughout the day to see, to see what the problem is. I did have to give a needle to one of these little ones. Uh, she, she's acting weird on her legs um, and I am I noticed that her tail was bit off so um, I mean it's dried off now it's sort of like the uh, umbilical cord but I am very curious if I will see an increase in infections from these uh, bit off tails uh, very much like the the joint ill from um, navel so I just really want to keep an eye on that and keep notes on that. Make sure we're on top of it at least and treat it when we see it. But other than that, I mean, if they're jumping around and singing a bit, see how that one's hunchy? Like I would say that one's maybe not 100% on the milk yet. Hi. But it's hunchy. So, I just don't like the way it looks. But it's not bawling. And it's not wanting to drink. So, I don't know. Maybe it's already drank. And then there's some that are just so perfect. Hi! You're happy! They are happy. When they're happy, they're happy. And you know. And just like that, Sandy changed her mind. I put up a pen again for the lambs that were born uh, in the last couple days. I just, 
I'm not confident they're not getting bullied. And that's typically, this is new this time because we had so many born in two days. So they sort of all got dumped in the same pen because we were training so many every day. And sometimes it works really good because the older ones can train the younger ones. But there was too many. So I'm thinking a lot of our issues are some bullying. So I just don't think, I think they're drinking, they know how. I don't think they're getting enough. So I've got, um, I've got one bigger lamb that looks like a good drinker. So I've got, I let her stay in here to sort of make sure the machine still stays going and warm. And then these other little ones have a chance to get on it and get really trained. And then they'll graduate into the bigger pen. But all the ones out here are good and running around. But those ones I was just concerned are just a bit younger and need a little more time. So hopefully my strategy works. I'm hoping I'm not too late. I should have done this yesterday. I just was tired and didn't really even think about it. I did put on some protectors so they don't pull any hoses off. I did that earlier this time. Um, and then I talked to Chris about opening this up, but I never thought of like keeping sort of a starter pen, which I usually always do. So tells you that I'm not, not 100%. I've got lamb brain right now. And these guys will come. I just, they just need time. Actually, you don't need to be in there. You're a 26. You're an old You guys, you can. I know, I don't want to go here either. Are you having a bath? <laughs> We're having another afternoon in the cabin. Would you gonna try and finish this puzzle? Mark's working on something. What are you working on? Electrical. These lights. Oh, our lights at our, in front of our bench area. But yeah, this is what we got done yesterday. Got a lot done yesterday, we to did. be honest. I think we can probably finish it. I think we're working I realized on my forte is the outside, and the inside I suck, but Jess has been rocking the inside. Yeah, I didn't do any of the outside. I was looking online and they have more of these on sale right Ooh. now. Like Christmas awesome. ones. She done. We got all the way to like here, we had and we some. had four pieces that wouldn't fit, and then we realized that I screwed up the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Supper time again at the Brock household. Tonight's menu includes Mark's very famous mac and cheese. I was famous for mac and cheese, and then Mark outdid me, and now we sort of all like Mark's better than mine. <laughs> but it's Advent time. I really destroyed 10 oh yesterday. <laughs> day 11, we're still not even half done. Day came 10. Out 10. Oh, and by the way, I didn't finish day 10. I quit the video too soon. Can't open it there, mom. I just don't have nails. You want me to? I have nails. Like, no, I have nothing. Oh, it ripped again. <laughs> You're really aggressive with it. No, I tried to fold it. Okay, green and red. I swear there was more in her video than green and red when I first looked at it. Oh. Funny looking lamb in there. My babies look happy. How are you guys doing? Have you figured it out? You got your own pen. Oh, someone's yippy in here. Oh, oh, that's another new one I forgot about. Come here, sweetie. Put you in here too. There you go. You get your own little spot. So it is the night check, and typically what we do is Carissa takes care of nanny babies, and I take care of bottle babies. Uh, we shouldn't have any, but we have just that set of twins 
thought I'd just like to do a little toppy-offy before bedtime here. They drank 100 mils for me today at noon, and I skipped the four o'clock feeding just to see how much they're actually drinking if they're hungry. And they're still with their mom, so they are getting some, but I wanna know like how much they really, really need. Yeah, this afternoon was just a quiet, we're really trying to take some time off a little bit over the Christmas month, I guess, it, as much as we can. Um, Cause this lambing will pick up again here and probably, a week or so, week and a half, and then that's when all the Christmas festivities begin. So I'm trying to take a little bit of time and recoup from last week. I do not see any babies. I do not see anyone even really interested in having babies. It's been like this all day. 